Today, we're sampling Animal Crossing. Freebeat. Hey, how's it going, everybody? Welcome to Freebeat, where I post new music-related content every single day, so if that sounds good to you, hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell. Today's patron shout-out goes to Sadiq Cat. Thanks for the support. Let's get started. So when Animal Crossing New Horizons first came out on the Nintendo Switch, uh, I sampled it into the PO33 and we made a miniature little track with it. That was, uh, what, almost two years ago now. Uh, well, Animal Crossing New Horizons just got a huge update today. And uh, while I haven't explored any of the update features, I realized that uh, I have a new pocket operator with sampling capabilities uh, since, you know, filming that original video in the PO35 Speak. So uh, let's go ahead and record something. Now I'm going to show as little of the game and as little of the audio as possible to not get hit with that copyright. Uh, but basically, I'm in the museum right now. I'm just going to sample into slot one. I'm going to try to finagle my hands around... Uh, the sampling button, hold B so I can run, and I'm going to run across the floor of the museum. So, uh, yeah, without further ado, let's try to get this sample into the speak. All right, I think we've got it. So I'm going to go ahead and unplug the switch there. Yeah. <laughs> we do have it. That's awesome. So uh, on the PO35, if you hold effects and press record... Uh, then you get access to a bunch of different secret menus. So in this case, I hold effects, press record, and go to number six. That's where I can actually adjust the overall volume of the sample itself. And that's with knob B. Then knob A actually allows me to control the amount of noise in the sample. And you can actually completely take it out, as you can hear. I kind of like it without. Let's try it without. See if we can make some kind of like lead sound with this. And uh, if you want to get out of the secret menus, you can just press effects and then it'll just bring you back to the normal uh, toggles between tone mode and trim mode. So let's start with trim mode. So once we're in trim mode, knob B will allow us to uh, dictate how fast the sample plays. And you can really slow it down. <laughs> including at a negative 127, it basically just sustains on that first note indefinitely. So there's a nice synth right there, but for now I'm going to leave speed at zero. Uh, now we can use knob A to determine the start point of the sample. So what I want to do is try to find uh, the footsteps. <laughs> now let's speed it up. Not the prettiest sound, but that's okay. Uh, next, let's go ahead and change what mode we are playing in. Uh, so if you hold effects, the first eight buttons on the speak uh, control what the actual synth engine is. So uh, the first one is just neutral. Second one is auto-tune. Third is retro. Fourth is noise. That's pretty cool, actually. I might hang on to that to use later uh, in a different project. Uh, five is robot. Six is fifth. Seven is vocoder. And eight is synth. And then, of course, the different keys on the pocket operator are the keyboard, essentially. Uh, if we want to change the scale and key that we're playing in, we can hold pattern. Knob A controls the scale. We'll just keep it A, and then we'll go... Uh, knob B will go minor. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, I'm going to go back to the trim feature now. And I'm going to play some more with the speed knob. So right now, each one of those footsteps uh, is kind of giving us that uh, modulation sound, uh, like we're modulating one of the parameters. 
that's super cool. And of course, there's no modulation on this uh, patch right now at all. And I just got a low battery warning, so one second. Okay, we are back with fresh batteries. By the way, uh, the Speak as well as the KO uh, will save whatever sounds are on there when you change the batteries, which is nice. All right, that's super cool. I want to go to fifth, though. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, also, robot sounded neat. Yeah. So now if we press effects and go to the tone settings, um, knob A is going to control the pitch. So obviously uh, we can super dial in, fine tune some pitches with this. Uh, but more commonly, I use this knob to, you know, quickly drop uh, down an octave or up, I guess, technically two octaves, uh, zero being the middle octave there, which can be kind of hard to get it to sit at. There we go. And knob B is the formant uh, control. <laughs> That's super cool. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and uh, try to sequence something real quick here. Yeah, we'll just use that. We'll go to the drums real quick. Uh, kick drum on one, two, three, and four. Nice. Go back to our sound, and I'm going to play this in live time or real time by pressing play, holding right. One, two, three. Go. All right, looks like we had a bit of a mistake in there. Yep, this needs to go right here, I believe. Yep, there we go. And right there, what I did is with uh, right mode on, you can actually hold on a step you want to edit, and knob A will control the pitch. And it'll actually show you uh, what pitch you are on, which is really nice. Let's go in and fill out our drums now. Um, we'll do some uh, offbeat hi-hats. Yeah, that works for me. Uh, the kit is monophonic, so I'm not really going to try to uh, get a snare drum in there or anything uh, without, you know, that would sacrifice the groove. Uh, not to mention, this is not a video about the drums on the PO35. Yeah. It's a video about uh, Animal Crossing. <laughs> so now we can uh, actually use punch in effects to kind of play with the rhythms. Uh, if we use punch in effects 9 through 16, or we can actually kind of switch between play styles on... Uh, the vocal side of things on the synth side of things in real time. And of course, we can actually record those changes as well if we turn right mode on first. Yeah, that's pretty sweet. Uh, now what we can do is automate parameters like uh, the formant. Uh, we could automate the pitch as well. Um, we can also automate the speed, which I just stupidly changed. So uh, let's go ahead and do that. And we do that by clicking play and then holding down right as we change the uh, parameters that we want to change. Thank you. 
There we go. Uh, just a little fun there with some punch-in effects at the end. So to get to those effects I started doing, uh, you just hold the effects button and then use pads 9 through 16. Uh, and they kind of affect things more rhythmically, uh, as you heard there. Yeah, PO35 Speak uh, is a really, really good time. Super fun. Uh, actually quite versatile and uh, can come up with some pretty convincing lead sounds. I'm going to have a video coming out about that pretty soon, actually, uh, where we have some fun with the Speak and sampling into other games gear that I have uh, more recently acquired. So I hope you're excited for that. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you're an Animal Crossing player, I hope you enjoy the new update. If you did like this video, be sure to leave a like on it. If not, you can always leave a dislike. That's okay too. Doesn't hurt my feelings. Just makes me try that much harder next time. Either way, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Ring that notification bell. Thank you so very much for being here. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye.